Okay, Seaport family. So a few videos back, I talked about the murder that happened in 2016 that killed Deron Robbins, who age was 32, on June the 9th, 2016. Now I did a video on that. I won't talk about or reiterate the things that I said in that video. If you want to see that video, the link is in the description, so you can just click on it and view the video for it yourself. Now Shanika Dunbar on Wednesday, actually yesterday, on 10:17, was sentenced to life without parole plus five years in prison. For the murder conviction of the 2016 slaying of her sister's baby father. Just a quick update on this. I believe life sentences are 30 years, plus they threw five years for the weapons charge because, of course, she had a weapon that she wasn't supposed to have. So uh, either she's going to do 30 years or 35 years, but I'm pretty sure she's not going to do the whole 35. I'm pretty sure she's probably not even going to do the whole 30. You know, a lot of people do appeals and a lot of times the appeals are successful so who knows but 30 years from now 2048 hmm, just imagine that and then my next piece of news there was a drowning today earlier this morning at turner boulevard and west boundary street at the springfield canal now they're saying is that an adult male was pulled out the small body of water and he died at the scene uh the male that was pulled out of the water only thing i know about him is that he is 19 years old or was 19 years old uh, there is no race on the person yet uh, there is no name on the person yet but any other updates about this I'll let y'all know as well but it just struck me pretty odd because you know that Springfield Canal man it's like you you don't even really notice it you know and then it's not a huge body of, of water it's not like a big lake it's not like the ocean or anything it's just a small canal and it has you know guardrails up so I'm not sure how this guy end up being inside of the water. I mean, was was he pushed? Did he slip? Uh, did he go in there with the purpose of going inside the water? Uh, I don't know any of that. But only thing I could confirm is that if they have some type of video footage of what happened, because it's just it's hard to speculate. Because for one, in that area, you have a lot of SCAD students in that area, and really in that particular area you have like a mixed group of people you have black people walking up and down that street you have white people asians uh well the asians that come uh to scad you know to learn and prosper over there you know you have a lot of different groups of people in that in that area it's a really diverse uh section of the city that little area over there where scad is but you know it's really odd you know and any other information about this i'll let you know as well but you know like i said there has to be like some type of video surveillance of what went down, you know, because it's hard to imagine that somebody could not know where they're going and end up in that small canal because it's not a big canal at all. It's not. But, um, you know, like I said, any other updates for this, I'll let you know as well. But that's all for right now. Stay blessed, Seaport.